Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough, where we only deploy female soldiers and occasionally a spark unit. Today, we're gonna go on Operation Soaring Pie, a council mission where we need to extract another VIP from Advent City. It's gonna be very difficult according to the game, but I think that will be a bit of an exaggeration. But if we succeed, we get an engineer and a little bit of intel. And on this mission, we're gonna take Sparky. Then uh, Miyu Tanaka, I need to get uh, used to her name there, our uh, Psy operative. Then Jessica Taylor, Hilda Carlson, Lisbeth Nielsen and Jessica Bianchi. Kind of like, not even the B team, but the C team at this moment. Uh, everybody can still get promotions, so uh, let's get some. Okay, no, uh, no introductory cutscene this time. We get an evacuation site already. Ooh. Aha, we already have the VIP as well, which is interesting. And no, yeah, no uh, hiding this time, no concealment this time. So let's move up with Sparky first, because apparently Mew can actually not go anywhere. And there we go, with the grappling hook we spot the Spectre Trooper and a Purifier. And they're getting closer, which is not going to be a good idea for them. Because I think I moved Sparky up as well, but then I realized that Lisbeth might have been a better option. And she has some really nice 100% shots already with all the, uh, the buffs she got. Um, so let's keep her until a second. Let's see what Sparky can do. So 46 on the Spectre or 31 on the Trooper. And he is apparently controlled with tactical... Oh no, that's probably the Dark Event. I kind of forget about that every single time that there's a Dark Event active at the moment. So let's move Miu up to the left here, right next to that tr trike, I think. Like a, a really futuristic trike. Uh, we do get stasis if I want to stasis one of the units. Um, but renders them immune to any damage or attack and stuns it for one turn. I could use that in a minute, but I also have the Null Lance, which I can't actually use to hit one of the other guys here. So I really need to hit the... Yeah, the Spectre with it if I want to hit something. So 9 to 14 damage. Let's check out the rest of our operatives. So I think Jessica can actually do demolition on the Spectre's cover. So that's gonna take care of that. There we go. Exposing him for everybody else. Which is, I mean, he's the closest guy we can hit. Um, that gives us 70% with Mew. 94 with uh, Hilda. I think I forgot to give somebody the Disruptor Rifle, but it's uh, not that much of a problem. Um, 94 is a good shot. Can actually hit everybody with Combat Protocol. I could. So let's keep Hilda for later. And then let's just try and hit him with Sparky. Damn, that is loud. But that was uh, 10 damage. There we go. Then we get... Hmm... I think I should probably use the Shredstorm Cannon on these guys over here. Although the Shredstorm Cannon is going to come in handy for later on. Uh, but they're too far away to even hit with a grenade at the moment. Unless I want to hit them with a flashbang. Uh, no, that's also not necessary. I think I'm just going to blast away at the Spectre. If we're lucky, we kill it. And that's a critical, but not enough to kill it apparently. That is too bad. That is really too bad, because now we're going to have to use either Mute or Naka shots. Can we actually use the Null Lance? No, I think I tried that already. Uh, no, we, we just can't hit either of these guys, which is annoying. Yeah, we're just out of range. Um, and we can't stasis anybody else as well, so might as well take the 70% shot on the Spectre. And there we go, we get a hit. Uh, we get a free action, but that's not going to help us unless we... Yeah, I can go into Overwatch. Um, Hilda can actually... We can finish off the... Um, yeah, I can finish off the trooper with that. We can snipe at the trooper like this. With Lisbeth shot. And we get 10 damage on that. And then we can just combat protocol the uh, remaining... The remaining damage. And then we only have the uh, purifier left. There we go. 
The purifier can go incendiary, can throw incendiary bombs, so we're gonna have to be careful around that car. But for now, we should be fine. So let's just move the uh, VIP into a pretty safe position. I'll, I'll just move her over here in the back. Maricruz Rivera. She's gonna come with us uh, nice and safely, so let's just hunker down. So there's one overwatch shot. There we go. From Mew. And that is a hit. That should have been, I think, about 50% chance to hit. Which is not a lot. He might actually throw that bomb. Which is weird, because he shouldn't have been able... I think I heard somebody something explode already, so I think he did. <laughs> We're doing things out of order. Is that it? Is he not going to do anything else? Oh, he's not. He is not. So that means I can just move up with Sparky and get a flank shot, right? I think if I go over here... That's also, that is also going to be the, the furthest I'm going to go. But I think this gives me a flank shot. There we go. 86%. And there it goes. And that's it for now. Yeah, indeed, Sparky. So, uh... Yeah, yeah, I will, Sparky. They're really cocky. <laughs> this Sparky, I, I love it about them. But they're really, really cocky. So let's move everybody up and I'll see you guys in a second. Aha, uh -huh, and two turns further, we spot a Codex and an Archon. So we know there are 11, there's 11 enemies. And we get a miss on the first one. And an 8%... An 8 damage hit. Ooh, and another 10 damage hit. That should almost kill the Archon, yeah. And for some reason he got his health back. No, there we go. Another Overwatch shot on the Codex, which is probably going to split it. Nope, we missed. So they're not going to get a split. And another one over here on the Codex or the Archon? Probably on the Codex from this sideline. And another miss. Okay. Fair enough, we got two hits out of that, which is uh, pretty good. Oh, never mind, we still have a sniper rifle shot. That's going to be the Archon dead. The aim on this bed is ridiculous at the moment. There we go. Even with the dodge, he's just dead. One down, thousands to go. So I think Elisabetta has the blue screen round. So if I want to take out the Codex in one go, that's probably going to be it. Um, so let's go to Elisabetta. But uh, does she have the blue screen rounds? No, she doesn't. Um, then it's probably uh, Jessica, yeah. So Jessica... If I put Jessica over here... On your order. I can probably hit the Codex, but it's not going to be a flank shot and it's only 50-50. Uh, so let's just use the EMP bomb on him. Because the EMP bomb actually does less damage than a blue screen cannon shot. So this is going to be the best use for that EMP bomb. Boom indeed. There we go. Tactical usage of the EMP bomb. We even got a critical on that, so 14 damage. Takes out the Codex. Okay. Good, good, good. Moving up. I can hear the sector pulled on the right. And I think, yeah, it's coming out of cover. There we go. So uh, a lot of people are on Overwatch. So this should be a good first turn, although of course that armor is gonna gonna hurt. But there's three people who can actually shred. Among which is ooh, yeah, that is not good, but maybe that truck explodes. <laughs> so there we go, we got another uh, cannon shot. Ooh, there we go. Shredding. I mean that should have exploded the truck. And we got a Lancer and a Trooper. Yeah, that Sectopod is gonna... Gonna get smacked in the face, isn't it? There we go, another shot. And that's a miss from Hilda. That is... That does not happen often. And we got another one from Mew. We're gonna be out of ammo. And another miss. Which is understandable. She's a very low-level unit. And that's about it. Yeah, the other... Uh, our other cannon user does. Ooh, there goes the truck. Hostile interceptors are inbound on your current position. Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. So I think it's time for the big guns. Uh, let's use Sparky um, and let him blow everything up. So overdrive. 
angry, angry, angry robot. Then first things first is the blaster bomb. The blaster bomb has a huge radius. So I'm gonna have to see, because this this is it's not made clear that this would This would technically not hit How the hell does that work? Would that not hit? I think that this one would hit, yeah. There's a lower area mark now and a higher area, so I think if I do this, we should hit everybody. Boom, 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 big boom. Biggest booms there. <laughs> Yes, that was a maniacal laugh. And I'm not even mad about it. That was a very big boom. Uh, I even have a shot at the trooper now. Goodbye, trooper. Oh, how the hell did we miss a 93% shot? And now it's a 78% shot. Yeah, um, let's, just, let's just fire again. There we go. Finishing that guy off. And we get a promotional Sparky, which is uh, very, very good. Uh, you, you you didn't, but now you did. So let's reload Elisabetta. Elisabetta can now fire. I don't think that was a free... Ooh, that was a free reload. Never mind. <laughs> kind of forget about the weapon upgrade sometimes. Yeah, you can see the little green nub sticking out of the magazine on the, the image there. Uh, I think 100% on the sector pods. Nah, but well, let's kill the Lancer 100%. There we go. There we go, and then we have a few people left to kill no, the sector bolt itself. From height advantage, we get an ability point. Then, um... I mean, does she have salvo? She does. She does. Might as well blow him up to pieces now first. Um, yeah, we still have a grenade for the final batch then. But at least I can get to attack twice now. Oh, one grenade. Down range. Ooh, critical. Nine damage on that grenade. I could have probably just killed it with one cannon shot as well, but uh, let's just finish it off. All right. Ooh, okay. That was a bit weird. Let's fire. Fire. Fire the weapon. There we go. Goodbye. Boom. X-ray neutralized. X-ray neutralized indeed. So, uh... Yeah, uh, let's reload everybody and move to the evacuation zone. There's only one batch of enemies left. And I think there's just going to be troopers, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. So next turn, let's move up with Sparky first. Let's uh, see what's going on right next to the evacuation zone. And I think the combat music just started, so I'm guessing we see uh, something at least. I know. I'm imagining things. There's not even combat music. Never mind. Aha, uh -huh, and there we go, the last batch is actually right next to the... <laughs> Surprise, more advent indeed. He's so, he's so cocky. I like Sparky. So a priest, a shield bay, and a purifier. But, uh, yeah, I used all Sparky's movement abilities, so... I could either evac him right now, or just start blasting the roof, I suppose. Um, and that is, I think, not a bad idea. What if I use the uh, Shredstorm cannon on this place? Um, if I move up one more... One more square... Then I can actually blast that area with a lot of explosives. I know I'm putting myself out in the open here. Which is probably not the best idea in that right now, but... Um, yeah, let's do it anyway. So, <laughs> Elisabetta, right in the open. And then we can fire the Shredstorm Cannon. Like this. And that hits both the Priest and the Shield Bay over here. And it's going to shred most of his armor. Might also take away the only way I have of getting up there. But, ooh, wow. The Priest just got knocked down as well. So he's not going to do much from over there. Um... Then we have Lisbeth, actually. Lisbeth, do you have... Lisbeth? Do you have a shot? You actually do have a shot. The shield bear can be taken out, and the purifier can have a nice chunk removed, but I'm gonna take out the shield bear from over here. I know there's fire right next to her, so probably not a good idea, but there we go. That's one. There you go. Thank you. There we go, indeed. Um... Then we have, yeah, the uh, the VIP, I'm not going to do anything with her, but moving up with Jessica, 
Might as well give us another uh, grenade. I left that grenade for this. And if I do this, I should probably avoid hitting the evacuation zone too much. So this seems to be perfect. That's going to drop down the purifier to the lower level. Engage. Ready for a surprise. Down the tube in the purifier's face. And there he goes on his ass. And it takes two more fall damage. Then Miu now actually has a nice flanking shot from over here. But I could even use the, the Null Lance ability here. Um, if I just turn the camera around a little bit. There we go. There we go. He's just going to get blasted with psionic energy. Nowhere. Nowhere. Because he's going to get penetrated by Blue Beam. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. That was... Well, that was something. That was something indeed. Uh, let's see here. Should probably move up with Hilda. That's going to put her into Overwatch immediately. I know the priest is inside the building somewhere. Um... I'm going to use Sparky in a minute to grab that loot, but right now he's the only one who can do something. And Marie Cruz is too far away to actually do something as well. So let's just keep the VIP safe by not putting her in a safe position, probably, because there's no proper cover for her. Uh, let's just put her over here and then uh, make her hunker down. There we go. And then I think Sparky is the only one left, so let's end the turn. So there's the priest. Is he just gonna stasis me? How does he see me but I can't see him? Okay, Hilda goes into stasis. I suppose. Um, who else? So Sparky got a promotion out of that. I'm not exactly sure. Hilda, uh, Hilda, Lisbeth. Lisbeth? No, Lisbeth doesn't have a shot. I don't know how far I can go with the... Uh, oh, I can actually go right here with the grappling hook. Well, that's the low ground, but... I mean... That's fine. Uh, no shots from here. Uh, but we know we can see... The priestess, because the priest is just in this building. There we go, there he is. So let's grab the loot while we're at it. That should give us... Ah, an advanced talk on a data pad. No Illyrium cores. But there we go, it's something at least, and then we can just fire away at this guy. Goodbye. Oh, he goes into stasis. That is such bullshit. That is such bullshit. But, uh, moving up. And uh, we can just... I think we can put her in the evacuation zone, right? Yeah, there we go. Let's do that. Marie Cruz in the evacuation zone. And then we can put down a few overwatches for when the priest gets out of his, uh, his slumber. Um, I could actually put Mew up here as well. Just to have a few people up there already. Uh, Lisbeth is probably not going to be able to do something. What's over there? Although I could just put it on overwatch. Yeah, let's just put everybody on overwatch. Uh, Marie Cruz can get evacuated. VIP secure and in position so you can get some. There we go. And then Mew. Let's just keep Mew here as well. And then the turn. Stasis ended. And then there's a lot of people very angry at that priest. Because if he wants to move, yeah, he's going to get shot in the back. <laughs> Bye, priest. It was nice meeting you. Oh, That seems like a dishonorable death somehow. <laughs> But yeah, he's down. Um, so yeah, let's see back everybody, because everything's dead. Everything is so dead. And there we go, the last one to evac. With four turns left, that's perfect, I would say. And that was another flawless mission, because nobody got hit, if I recall correctly. There we go, flawless. 11 enemies killed, 9 turns taken. And uh, yeah, Operation Soaring Pyre, flawless success. And there we go, back at the Avenger, and I'm really curious about the amount of promotions, because I saw one, but I Not probably missed one, another one as well. Uh, no. No. <laughs> I didn't miss anything. Um, we just got a promotion for Sparky, which is really good. Uh, repair, send, aha. 
There we go, so that's how we can heal them. Send the bit to do a damage robotic ally and repair it. Advanced bits can repair slightly more or bombard launch the bit to any visible location where it releases a powerful explosive blast. Advanced bits do more damage. Is there more information about that? No. Because I don't know how much damage that's going to be then. Um, I think probably repair is going to be better. Because we have no way of healing our spark units at the moment. So I think I'm just going to go for repair. So he's up to Vanguard. Well, she is up to Vanguard. Uh, there we go. And I can bond Jessica and Elisabetta apparently. But their compatibility is relatively... Well, it is relatively high. So let's just do that. So Elisabetta and Jessica are now bonded. Confirm. Uh, no, we don't, need, we don't need a poster. We don't need a poster. Continue. And we got a stock data pad and a codex brain along with the engineer. Excellent work. And 86 intel. There we go. Another cancel mission completed. I think um, this might again be a very short episode. Because if you remember from last time, we were really close to a retaliation mission as well. So I'm guessing if I go to the bridge now, we might get one immediately. Yeah, we were checking out the supply drop. Uh, we could check that out as well. But where was the supply drop? Thank God that thing is green because otherwise I would have missed it. Now that we can check out the entire globe. It's uh, really, really confusing sometimes. But I'm guessing that we won't be even be able to get a single bit of that supplies. Oh, yeah, we got one. We got two. Our research was a success. Ooh, and we get the Berserker Queen autopsy complete. How is that suit gonna look? Let's As check Dr. it out. Valen noted in her own report, it was irresponsible and borderline irrational for her to have pursued this research, knowing the incredible risks involved, not just to herself. But to what little of humanity as a whole remains. Wow, Tygen is really mad about this. The Rage Suit, the R-A-G-E suit. It may be possible to retrofit the, the exceptionally durable skin of the Berserker Queen into a high-powered body suit. Look at that thing! Um, both of these things are, are inspired. Alien Data Cache or Advent Data Pad. Um, well, yeah, sure. Science. Eager to begin, Commander. I don't have anything else the to do. Uh, the Rage Suit does need an Illyrium Core. Um, I'm gonna check that out in a second. But of course, yeah, I might be able to buy one from the Black Market. We'll have, we'll have to see. And there we go. So, ooh. More psionic training complete. So Domination is now another ability for Mew. And then we get... I'm gonna go for Solace. Uh, sustain is also really good, so that's basically the uh, um, the priest ability where instead of dying she can go into stasis for one turn and health is reduced to 1 HP. Um, but Solace is really good to extinguish uh, mental impairments for themselves and nearby squad mates, so that's just uh, a really, really good ability. And there we go, we get the last of our supplies as well. Let's ignore uh, HQ for a second. I want to go to the black market. If we're even, even able to reach that from here. Because uh, we have a lot of intel, along with a lot of supplies. So if we can just buy that one Illyrium core, that would be really, really good. So let's check that out. There are no Illyrium cores in the black market at the moment. So we're gonna have to find the Delirium Core somewhere else. I've been making too many Spark units. I don't know what a superior focus PCS is. Is that something for the Templars? Let's just... I'm just gonna grab that. I have plenty of intel anyway. Um, superior focus sim provides the affected soldier with the best possible chance of resisting panic and psionic attacks. Okay. Um, superior scope, I can always use that as well. So let's grab that uh, for only 20 intel, which is fine. Um, even the rest of those are really, really good, actually. I'm just going to hold off on the rest. And then we can go to road traffic, because that has assorted loot. So that might have an Illyrium Core as well. Because um, that's definitely something I want, because I want to check out that Rage suit. And then Alien Data Cache Decryption is complete. And that gives us, ooh, Adaptive Personal Combat Sims. Will allow us to reuse them indefinitely. Breakthrough successful. Wait a second. Okay. 
Uh, let's continue decrypting uh, data pads. And then a covert action is completed. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that's... That, that was the thing that actually triggered that trophy nut. Pay attention, damn it. Again, we need uh, those Illyrium cores, so let's just recover loot. Jessica and Lisbeth can go on that covert action. Only takes seven more days. They're really taking their time with that retaliation mission. There we go. Advent retaliation. Uh, let's check it out. It seems to be in North Africa again. Well, that is, it says East Africa, but that's clearly in the, the North. But yeah, okay. Never mind. Um, let's check that out. So 13 enemies, but limited to Archon, Codex, Chrysalid, Berserkers, and Spectre. That's a lot of melee, melee um, range units. So I think a bunch of rangers might just fix that up really nicely. And I have a ranger I still need to level up. So seems like the perfect time to do so. Uh, I'm not even gonna, even gonna go overboard with this. So this is gonna be the team for next time on the retaliation mission operation Little Mist. So a Haven assault. We're gonna take Sparky again, and then uh, a lot of our main uh, ladies. So Heidi, Christina, Emily, Kelly, and then last but not least Elizabeth, our main covert operative uh, ranger, who still hasn't gotten a promotion from all those covert actions. So uh, we're def definitely gonna level her up this time so uh she's gonna it, it's gonna be i think her first mission so i gave her a, a shiny new outfit as well to go with her new uh weapons and uh yeah i think she's gonna do fine so before that i'm gonna take a little break so thank you guys enormously for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode of xcom 2 the valkyrie playthrough and i hope to see you guys next time goodbye